Hello, this is Vast V47 for basically my first review of the post game. So today, this is mostly a bit of a, a few things, not just something focused, just to give you a lowdown. First of all, as soon as you do the post game, a few things come unlocked for you. You probably saw when, when if, you, if you watched my final battle, I was going through the screen, but I guess I can show you again. This period becomes available. This unlocks pretty much one of the toughest fights in the whole game. I say one now because there's actually fights tougher than this. <laughs> yeah, in this new version of the game, they made an even tougher version of it. This unlocks a limiter for the final boss, which makes him extremely powerful. Here's the thing I didn't know about. You need the only way to unlock this PA is if you saw another PA back in um <coughs> back in uh Expel. I did not know about this. I already did this though because I was trying to get a specific accessory. I like was stealing it off her. But so if you haven't activated the PA, you won't see this, so you have to do New Game Plus. I actually thought they changed that. I didn't know that was, that was still a thing here. I thought I don't think they would have changed, but uh, whatever. Yeah. But honestly, it isn't really tough to miss. Remember that in this game, it tells you when the PA is going to happen. This is like last game where it's completely question mark. Like it literally shows you like PA. So I'm quite surprised if you did miss that. I might understand missing on like, getting the accessory if you didn't prepare the game Thief. But just activating the PA in general and just talking to Esper's NBC, it just seems quite odd. But uh, <coughs> not that I'm putting any blame on you guys. Again, it was more frustrating the original. Okay, so as soon as you beat the game, that becomes available. Also, if you go to group battles, these three become available. Oh, three, I mean four. This is probably the one you probably would do first. But these, 130, yeah, I'm not going to do these two a bit later. I got a, f yeah. Look at these items right here. Valiant stuff. You get that stuff in the post game dungeon. <laughs> so that tells me that I should at least go through a bit, bit of that first. This one's a bit more reasonable, but we'll do this one in a bit. For now, I'm going to show you guys something else. My level grinding method. <coughs> As you can see, I'm pretty high leveled. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. First of all, I learned this, train. Not everyone there is at uh, level 10 though yet, but uh, when they do, boom, just turn it on, your stats decrease. But honestly, in the grand scheme of things, it isn't by that much. It's it's slightly, they slightly decrease. So, not that much in the grand scheme of things. But it's strange to get more experience during battle. Next, I actually fed some food. Honestly, I've been kicking myself right this game, kicking myself. I haven't been eating uh, food before battles because they actually give effects. Like this one, extra experience, that's two fights, awesome. And similarly do other things as well, like you recover uh, more H your maximum HP and MP increases during that battle. That's pretty that could be that could have been pretty useful actually. <laughs> and some of them also you recover more HP and MP after battle. And some gives you an effect too, like like this one. Your crit, your crit percent rate goes up by plus twenty percent during battle. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> they probably mean, what's the point in that then? Like seriously, duh, duh. You can use during boss fights. Seriously, <coughs> so give yourself even more an advantage. Next, to my level up strategy, we have tactics, formation, square shift two. You can get this from uh, basically one of the group battles, so it's not missable. And if there is, if there is a miss, so it's not missable like forever. You can easily get this any time. <coughs> Much better than the other one I used before, because it gives you plus hundred percent XP instead of just a fifty XP. And lastly, last but not least, is also the battle item, the experience card. Now, once you do all these, 
Now, how do we uh, gain levels super quickly? Well, with group battle, as a particular group you can fight. Pretty simple to fight at this point. Okay, yes. Group, group battle. And it's this one. Jumping, gelatin, infestation. They do quite a bit of XP, and because they duplicate, especially those uh, cuboid ones, they give a lot of XP. Uh, basically, they can give a, they can give quite a even more XP. I combine it with the with the formation bonus, with the uh, food item, the battle, the um, experience card, and the training specialty activated. It pretty much stacks. I'm pretty sure they stack. If they don't, most of them stack because. Uh, I've been doing the checking of numbers and uh, they seem to be doing more XP this way. So, let's do a battle real quick and see how much XP we're going to get from this one. I have no shame in level grinding at this point, this is a post game now, so we're all better off. Okay, and use this. Go to town! Oh yeah, look at that. Nearly a million XP. Level up. I'm your woman. Whatever. Now, yes, I know this isn't the best leveling method. There are actually much better ones later on. But this is the easiest one, easiest to do at the moment, especially early one to try and get a bit of an advantage. There's a better one later one, I know which one it is, but we're going to do it for quite a while because we don't have, well, the silver trumpet. So yeah, <laughs> you either get that until you basically complete the post-game dungeon. Okay, so that's pretty much my method. Well, first of all, I'm going to turn off training for now. I don't need it. I'm going to, put, uh, I'm going to try this other fight next. Yeah, as you can see at this point, it's really matter what I level up now. I'm just doing whatever. Both just focus on one actually have stats in it and stuff, because why the hell not? Except for training, I'm gonna try and max that out. So that way I can do more grinding and stuff later on if need be. Oh, hello. Blink. There we go. And also something else too. I want to max out the past damage limit. You get this by doing about four million damage in total as a mission. As well as do it as a, a, a special mission. Honestly, you should get this by now. You have to try not to get it, honestly. Because um, with all the enemies and tough fights you have to do, with all the pits, it adds up very, very quickly. I talk about these missions, uh, challenge missions. You do like 4 million uh, damage in one of these. I'm not sure which one it was, it doesn't matter. And uh, you should get it as a reward eventually. Honestly, it's, it's not that tough. You probably, again, if you're at this point in the game, you should probably already have it. I'm going to be surprised if you don't. <laughs> Especially with the weapons uh, t which I showed off. <laughs> but okay. <coughs> Never about that. I'm going to switch to Universe and try and do this one in Universe mode. The exception of Switch Back to Galaxy is during the arena stuff. And I don't know why I would make it much harder for myself anyway. I don't mind doing that for post-game normal bosses like the ones in the um, like in the post-game area, but the wiener ones, not really, because I can refight them. So if I feel like I have a better strategy, I can probably redo this later on or something and showcase me doing these fights in universe mode. I can do it at any time, but the normal fights, those are one-time things for the most part. <coughs> okay, so let's do a group battle and let's take on the. Ten wise men, love force. Yeah, in the post game also, you will be getting like new exclusive equipment, which is just for the remake, which is really nice actually. You get some pretty nice stuff. That's why doing uh, those uh, special missions and those challenge missions are really good because you get some really good exclusive items just from there. <coughs> okay, the time has been destroyed. The universe have descended, take more down, and claim victory. I'm not gonna bother using a magic lens. This is a waste of time. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I forgot. Let's change our formation, shall we? 
No, I don't need extra. I already have a great myth of grinding method. So let's see, what should we have? Oof, that would be embarrassing. Hmm. Super armor, avoid hit. Actually, I'm gonna try that instead. I'm gonna try something else too. I need some food. Because um, clearly the food does affect the arenas because when they use it, basically um, it went away. So I'm curious, what should I eat? Hmm. Hmm. The BP of sounds nice, but I'm curious. This is why replication is really important. I can replicate most of these. Not all of them, but most. I only got one of those, so I'm not going to use that. And let's see. Hmm. Oh wow, SP and BP up to 50%. That's pretty pretty sweet actually. Basil sugar rate plus 20%. Hmm. Let's try that then. <coughs> and I think this lasts for like, um, I'm not sure if this lasts for two battles within the arena or if lasts for the whole of the group things. So I'm going to try it out and see. If that disappears afterwards, then it must be for two battles. Or does it last like the whole group battle? I'm curious about that. So I'm going to try that out as well. Okay. Group battle. It's on universe mode. Let's try taking down the Ten Wise Men. Alright, let's do this. Let's see if my cheap strategy works. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. this ought to be a decent and, uh, yeah. Angel feather right now. And let's see, very light. My cheap strategy is working. That's right. What the hell? Hey, 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 get back in there. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I have something that makes a revive once. Uh, let's see, 100%. Get back in there. Oh. Oh, I know why. The shield. Oh, payback's a bit. Oh yeah, you guys really screwed me over last time. It's payback time. Cheapness. Thy name is Massive Unity. Okay, let's see. Keep this! Activate! Huh. I've seen some of the stat boosts that I... Hmm, that's interesting. i seen some of the stat boosts which I have um, given to the party carry over. That's interesting, I didn't see that. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna... There we go. Get back in there. Air 
Ow, ow, ow. Thank you, bunny shoes. Yeah, you're gonna hate me for this. God, this car won't leave me alone. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is it? Actually, it's a good thing that leave me alone. I distracted them long enough for you to not get killed. Honestly, we got the tough fights out of the way now because we only find one on one, which is actually a bit better. Hmm. Oh, this guy got poisoned. Oh, yeah, let's deal with that first. Get that with. <laughs> oh, I'm so cheap. Hey, 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 hey. Do your job and heal. Okay, and uh, let's see. Yeah. The other fights are only tougher because... The only, the only fights are tougher because you have to fight more than one. Yeah, he's tough, sure. But... It's just one guy, which makes it easier to get through compared to the others. Okay, Angel Feather. And uh, Refraction. Reflection. It's called Refraction before. And uh, let's see. I think I have Holy Mist. That's better. Yep. <laughs> Why? I was made by mankind. Why do you refuse my offer of destruction? Let's go. Here we go. Here the fight begins. Holy mist. Nope. Holy mist. Uh, what the hell? Then for what reasons do I live? <laughs> Three million. Nice. The power. Huh. Hmm. Excellent. Love Force. Okay, let's see what that one is about. Oh! Uh, no, hold on. I want to see that for myself. Doubles the trigger rate of interruption and concentration. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's different. Let's check the stats properly. Here we go. Hmm, a lot more defenses, that's for sure. Hmm. 
and a lot more intellect too. But that MP that MP cost reduced fifty percent is just too good to pass up. But it's a very good attender, very good indeed. <coughs> Oh look, I was right. See that? Only one was used, even though I did all those fights before. That is so cool. So it does carry to a bunch of battles in between. Neat. I wonder when the others get unlocked. Uh, the other three unlock after I I done like all the other post game stuff. So if we look through, it should still only be like the others. Let's see, group battle. Yeah, I see. Don't get me wrong, it seems tempting, but these ones are especially tough. <laughs> especially this other one. Especially that one, Symbolist only. <laughs> good thing I did, good thing I agreed to know her, because that would be free. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm going to show off something else too. Survival battle. And I'm gonna be using this. Basically what this does is that um try to win as much as possible. But unlike the other version, you have to do it like all in a row, I think. There's actually a break and take, so I'm gonna try and see how many fogs I can do before I get killed. Maybe I could make the other way. I might be able to get the secret manual augment. <laughs> so you know, wish me luck and see if I can do that. And I'm doing it on universe mode too. <laughs> Again, I mess up or die once, it doesn't matter, I can just do it again <laughs> in Galaxy Mode and try it then. So, uh, let's go. The first 25 matches are like a cakewalk, it's like, after that it gets much tougher. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's do this. We're an event folks, the 100 million of you will come, blah blah blah. blah. Now the rule of this round, it's a survival battle. One on one, winner take all. Can you really beat 50 people? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to begin. Ready, set, go. This will be over. Let's see. Ah, uh... oh, I thought so. Yeah, it's only a set amount of items. It's the item which they gave me, so I have to use this carefully. For How annoying. Oh, that's different. It's How literally annoying. 50. That's much quicker. How Before, in the original version, it was just like... <laughs> in the original version, it was literally just... It, it went back to the other screen afterwards, it does it every single time. It just gets boring pretty quickly. Remember you. Hmm. You even knew. Yeah, you only have limited items. So, uh, that's it. Oh, it does actually flow. Nice try. I've got armor, which I got armor, which makes me into paralysis and being turned to stone. So, I prepared. Lifting shield and dueling suit. <laughs> Bring it on! I can do this all day! This is why I got Air Slash. It's much better. For two reasons. Not only does it have range, it hits more. Way more compared to the other one does. Air slash, air slash, air slash, air slash, 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in the halfway mark. Almost there. <laughs> that guy, you can kill in one hit. Eh, let's see. Well, no, you don't. You eat me and I die. <laughs> Doesn't matter how strong you are. That guy eats you and it's game over. I wonder, can we be able to make it to all 50? Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Yes. I tricked him into trying to use it, did he? Back off, you Gandalf wannabe. <sighs> oh, these guys. They have annoying ability. They can... Yes! That. <sighs> yep. They can stop time. <sighs> Dang. Oh, I didn't do too bad. Oh, let's see, how long did I do? Being 25, yeah, that's a halfway mark. So, I think, so if you go back to survival, I think you can continue on where you left off. So, let's see, here, contest, yes, and uh, survival, let's see, DS. Yeah, see, we start from 26, see. That's why I want to do that now to get it over with. So basically, you can restart from the halfway point, which is really cool. Oh, 29! I could have made it to um, get the Mithril Helm. Oh well. I just wanted to show that off to you guys. And again, I did try to do it in the universe as well, so that was it. Okay. Now to do something else is pretty cool. Time to show off how to get to um, expel. Really simple, you just need to go around here and talk to a specific old man. And I have the ability to take you back to your past. Uh, this is a joke, right? Joe? It's called Virtuality. I can access your subconscious and plunge your mind right into it. Of course, if you die in Virtuality, the mental shot would actually kill you. But anyways, are you interested? Yeah, sure. You sure? No regrets? <laughs> yes, please. In that case, close your eyes. Don't worry. You can come back anytime you like. It's not a one made deep trip. That make no sense, because in the brains what you can do. We're, we're in Arnia. <laughs> uh, you must be... Uh, yes, uh... Listen, I know it's a hard and I found some mysterious ruins. Wow. The ruins are on an island across the sea to the west of Alia. What? I thought there might be treasure there, but the ruins were like a maze and the monsters were too strong. So I swam away and came back here. Really? I wonder what is behind those ruins. And will I make it to Harley? Yep, <laughs> it's that guy from the side quest earlier. If you're trying to get to Harley, how did you come to be in Arnia? That's the guy that side quest who guys that scumbags there. But ruins with an iron rest of Arnia? Interesting. I'm not going to swim, but I wonder if there's another way to get there. Visit Expel, we created with virtuality. While the Finite and Explore, which places not necessarily you may discover you may just discover something new. Be done down with Arnia if you want to return to need. 
So just talk to him again and you can go back to where you came from. However though, <coughs> there's something you can actually do which you can't do in the other game. So, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. See all these PAs? Yeah. Any PAs which you wanted to do, you can actually show off here. I'm not sure this is like post-game related, or maybe more to do with the fact that I have a relationship with a certain level, maybe. But you can do these if you want. I'm going to do these off-screen. <laughs> but as I was saying, which the PA made where we go to her because there's a new NPC available now. <laughs> yeah, the other kid. No, 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 no. There's no way we're going with that name. If she's a girl, can we call her Lori? My mom and dad are so lovely, dovey. It's embarrassing, and it's a boy. But if you pickpocket him, you can get this if you're lucky. Yes! Got it! The Santa Boots! Chance to obtain items when staying at it in. Very, very nice. Just equip these where I have, them, have these on and yeah. This is really good. Awesome. This is pretty awesome. Because the other way is to buy them off of someone in the post-game area. And they are stupid expensive. So you just literally steal these off this guy and then that's it. So, seriously, you're saving so much, um, full. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> let's go and explore. You see, something else has came with us while we back here. That's right! Now we can fly across all over here too, which is awesome. And you two probably guessed, yes! There are treasures here. Lots and lots of juicy treasure chests which we couldn't get before. With the sign on, we can get them now. But we can also encounter the rest of these ray fights. Yeah, even if I did some of the ways during the main story, I'm going to do them all. S speaking of ways though, I'll be doing some along the way and then some during the dungeon. Not going to do them all at once. Because some of them are just so easy. You don't need to go through the whole of the post game areas to do it. But yeah. Basically now, you can basically explore the islands you couldn't see before. And get some nice treasure along the way if you want. Oh, this is the exception. That guy's actually guarding a treasure chest, you have to just beat that way to get it. I think it's a very few of them are like that. Another thing is that we can finish the fishing quest now. We couldn't do that before. <laughs> as you can see, a lot more stuff we can explore now. Again, another place we're going to get to. However though, because of the rabbit we have, I didn't really, that didn't really matter in the long run because, well, we got most of them. Well, I mean, I got most of them off screen. So yes, yeah, so now you can pretty much explore, backtrack. It's really awesome. But enough fun in games. Where is it? It's like to the south of Arlia, wasn't it? I went there, didn't I? <laughs> so yeah, there's a few treasures we actually get now, which you can only get because you have to be able to fly, which again is really cool. So any pieces of land you see? Try flying towards it. There might be a treasure here. Oh, like so. Let's go get this bad boy. I'm gonna get them all on screen, obviously. I'm gonna look for myself. Heart of Hearts. Nope. Let's see what this does. He's damaged by then that max HP. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> Oh wow, that's pretty good actually. This is a, an obviously this is a weapon exclusive to like a new game. Oh wow. 
that's pretty awesome actually. Way better than just max HP plus 30%. That's pointless. Yeah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, that feels stupid. It was right in front of me. I didn't even see it. I was really having fun zooming around and seeing what the hell was going. Some of the hidden content is actually around here. There it is. <laughs> Do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's another wade right there. Hmm. Yeah, how I'm going to handle the wades is I'm going to do um, a sim at a time and sim a bit later. Because some of them again are super easy. But here we go. Also, for those who are trying to find all of the secret spots, this is the last one in the game. <laughs> hmm. Pyramid the Mr. Sands. An impossible to miss ancient structure that rises sharp from the Swine Desert. No one knows who made it or why, but it's said to be being from heaven and put earth to finish it. Oh! SB and BP? Okay, neat. Alright, I'm gonna visit obviously. They're probably wondering, so. Am I going to fight through it and stuff? No, just enter it so I can actually add it to the my, my quick travel. I wonder if these are the mysterious rooms we heard about in Ardia. It's really a mysterious place. It feels like something unexpected is going to happen. Let's be careful. A very difficult dungeon carries a 13 force, all manner of tricks and deadly foes away. Make sure you're fully prepared with a high level party and new equipment before embarking on this challenge. And hello, maze of tribulations. Yes. <laughs> and this place can and will kick your ass. It will not be for the faint of heart. Take notes, auto save will not work while in this dungeon. If you want to save, go to a save location and save manually. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's. Oh, I thought as much. It would be much. It would be much. That. Oh, that makes perfect sense. It wouldn't be much of. It wouldn't be very. It wouldn't be much of, um, of an optional area of a post game dungeon if you could just auto save constantly. Oh, so it's manual save only. Okay. Uh, now to talk about this area in general. Basically, it's going to be bosses only. Again, this is mostly a boss one anyway. I'm not going to go through this whole place. I'm kind of bored doing that, to be honest. And uh, I feel like this game is starting to overflow to welcome a bit. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't be surprised that I can easily kill these guys by even fighting them and stuff. That's only because um, of how high level I am, but trust me, I know for a fact that their enemies here be so tough that they'll be back to blue again, I mean back to purplish again, and some of them I think even red. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we should be here now to our shortcuts. Yep, the maze of tribulations. Yep, <laughs> and that's just uh, the first floor. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through the whole dungeon and stuff like that. Again, it's mostly a boss run and all that, and so I want to keep it that way. That's why I didn't mind doing the arena because it's just fighting. <laughs> not the arena doing puzzles, any of that stuff. But there are plenty of guides online to tell you how to get through this place, and I highly recommend looking them up. I might even just link them on myself, you know? <laughs> but there we go. So, what am I going to do next time? I'm going to do a few wade fights next time. Just makes sense that way. Because again, some of the wades we fight here are very, very simple uh, to do. Jesus Christ, so many green units here. Where are they coming from? Alright. 
So uh, yeah, next one we do, we're going to do our first few raids. There are some very easy ones you can do. I'm going to do those ones first. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, as you can see, it. <laughs> I was doing pretty alright well in survival, to be honest. But again, I was doing it on universe mode, so I might try again on galaxy mode as the. I will show. I will show that off there, of course. It's interesting. But I made that fair by doing that, so um, I was doing pretty well on it. So yeah, next time, we're going to be do next time, the f next part of the post game, we are going to be doing uh, pretty much raids. Not all of them, some of them are really tough. And they might need to do, not even do much damage to them or scratch them, so yeah. Also, that's you probably wondering, how did DS do um, over 9,000 damage? This! Surpass damage limit. I mentioned this earlier, constantly, so I'm going to talk about it again. Surpass damage limit. Get this maxed up. Seriously. Hell, oh, people playing the, uh... People, oh, people who played the PS1 and PSP versions wish they had max damage limit. <laughs> also, as for SP and BP, it goes over 999 now. Which is fantastic, quite frankly. That was so annoying and didn't before, so that's really great. Seriously. Yeah. Again, I do not know why I didn't do that earlier, which is kind of dumb in hindsight, but there we are. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this post game so far. Sorry it's a bit uh, scattered over the place, but I want to try and cover as much as I can without being overwhelmed at the same time. So like I said, next time it will be raids, and yes, I will be doing the raids in the universe because they're just single fights and stuff. So I will be trying to do those. So again, some of them are much tougher than others, and some have pretty unique gimmicks to them. <laughs> so uh, that's why you're not going to do all of them at once. So if you can beat the raids before going to the dungeon, then you must be way over leveled. <laughs> uh, so yeah. <clears throat> With that, it's Master V47, Gamers Life Object Platformer. Stay classy.